minutes after pro-Palestinian protesters cleared out of Harvard Yard, a Holocaust survivor and her son sharing their story at Harvard Habal. I cannot help it. I'm an optimist. Carmela Waldman remains upbeat despite what she has survived. She was four and a half years old when she and her mother escaped the Nazis in the former Yugoslavia. My mother took me through a hole in the fence. They came to take us to the trains to take us to Auschwitz. Her mother asked a non-Jewish doctor for help. He brought her to a Catholic nun at a boys' school. He walked over there and asked them if they would take a Jewish child, a five-year-old girl. And she had to pretend to be a little Catholic boy, basically. She stayed for six months. Her son Joel has written a book about his mother. My mom is not only a Holocaust survivor, she also lost her child. And during the writing of this book, uh, was in the process of losing my father. The campus protests highlight deep differences at a time when the Waldmans say people should be helping each other. I think the best way is to resolve it through dialogue, through understanding, through patience, and I'm sorry to say this as a cliche or not cliche, as through love. This story is about non-Jews saving a little Jewish girl. We need to get the world back uh, on track. Now, after the war, she was reunited with her mother and her grandmother, but sadly, her father and her grandfather were killed at Auschwitz.